Welcome back, Pirates. In this video, let me introduce you to some of the useful apps for a software engineer. But before we move on, let me quickly thank Wondershare, who's so kind to sponsor my video today. With that said, let's dive into it. The first useful app for a software engineer is Visual Studio Code. And no guys, I'm not trying to self-promote Microsoft. Believe it or not, Visual Studio Code is the best IDE for programming. The engineers not only at Microsoft, but also at Amazon, Google, and Facebook use VS Code as well. Still don't believe me? Well, take a look at the survey conducted by Stack Overflow. Nearly a third of all developers responded that the original Visual Studio is their IDE of choice. But what's amazing is that more than 70% have selected the lightweight version of it, Visual Studio Code, as their IDE of choice, overthrowing its parent. So then, why is Visual Studio Code so popular? Number one, it's free. I mean, who doesn't like free? Number two, it's not just a regular text editor like Sublime or Vim. It's an actual IDE that's capable of running and debugging your code at the same time. Number three, it's cross-platform. You can install it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Number four, built-in IntelliSense coloring your code and helping with predictive coding. Number five, it virtually supports almost all programming languages you would ever need. Lastly, number six, it supports extensions allowing you to plug in just about anything and customize according to your taste. If you are interested in becoming a software engineer or you are already one but haven't tried VS Code yet, get Visual Studio Code a try. The second useful app is PDF Element, PDF editor and document management solution created by this video sponsor, Wondershare. PDF Element is a PDF editing tool that provides the easiest way to create, edit, convert, and sign PDF forms and documents across desktop, mobile, and web. One great example of its usage is crafting a new or making edits to your existing resume. For example, Remember those situations where you can't move the bullet points of a Word doc to the exact locations of where you want them to be? This can be easily achieved with the help of PDF Element. For example, here's my dark theme resume. Some of you might have seen this resume from my very first video. If any of the bullet points are misaligned or are simply not in the exact place where you want them to be, what was a hassle in Microsoft Word or any other text editors is now a breeze using PDF Element. All you need to do is open up the PDF file Click on the text, select the text that you want to reposition, and use the mouse to move them around. You can also edit texts within the PDF element, or even delete an entire chunk of text without affecting the alignments of other texts. The same applies to adding, editing, or removing images within the PDF file. You can import your signature image, your app icon, or other logos into PDF element, and place them wherever you want without having to worry about text alignments. Another great usage of PDF Element, and arguably one of its best features, is the built-in OCR text recognition. OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, can accurately turn scanned documents into searchable and editable text, allowing you to repurpose the content without retyping. What the OCR technology allows you to do is to transform a physical paper document into a text-editable digital document. Let me show you what I mean by using the same resume example I used earlier. I have my resume printed out this time. I can take a picture of it, open it up with the PDF element, and perform OCR on top of the image to convert it to an editable PDF. See how I can edit the text and move the components around directly from the scanned image? Pretty cool, huh? You can download the app to try for free. Links in the descriptions below. The third useful app for a software engineer is, you won't believe it, the snipping tool in Windows or the screen capture tool in Mac OS. Now, why would a software engineer ever need a screen capture tool? If you think about it though, if you call yourself a software engineer, the chances are you're working for a company. That means you're collaborating with other coworkers and sharing your findings, ideas, and analysis over mediums like email, chat, and cloud, which is all vital to day-to-day -day work. You won't believe how easy time-saving, efficient, and convenient it is to capture a part of your screen and download it with these built-in tools. For example, in Windows, just press the Windows key, type in snip, hit enter, then control N to create a new clip, select, and finally control S to save, and boom, your screenshot selection is now saved. In Mac, press Command-Shift-5 to configure whether you want to copy or download the clip, 
then Command Shift 4 to select the area you want to take the screenshot. By now, you must have realized that these two built-in apps are essential not only for software engineers, but for everyone. Sharing a portion of your screen has never been easier. Seriously, try this if you haven't already. The fourth useful app for a software engineer is Notion. It's simply the best productivity app I've ever used. Notion is like Evernote, Excel, and Jira on steroids. That's right. You can do note taking, create a spreadsheet, put data into a database, and even manage your tasks and schedules all in one place. It's cross platform, meaning the apps available on many devices, including the browser, mobile phones, tablets, and computers. The data are stored in the cloud, allowing you access to the same data even if you switch devices. And best of all, its personal plan is free to use. Again, who doesn't like free? For developers, you can paste in a code snippet using Notion's code box. For teams, you can keep track of your team's tasks and schedules using Notion's Kanban board. I made a detailed video on how I use Notion here, so make sure to check it out. The fifth useful app for software engineer is Git. Duh. I mean, obviously, but let's face it. Git is essential for developers nowadays. In fact, who doesn't use Git for source control these days? If you are looking into becoming a software engineer, then Git is a must-have program to install. Git is a source control management tool that allows developers to share code, control versions, and coordinate work among them. Search for Git download in Google and follow the installation instructions. Git is available on both Windows and Mac and has its own learning curve, but it's essential if you want to become a software for developer. There were other source control management apps like ClearCase and Taurus SBN in the past, but Git is simply the king in the space now. The sixth useful app for a software engineer is Stack Overflow. You know, pretty much 99% of all the programming questions you have, if not 100%, are already answered in Stack Overflow. And yes, for any programming language, Stack Overflow is pretty much the go-to place for getting answers to any software engineer related questions. If you are a developer and you haven't found the answer to your program question in Stack Overflow yet, well, you didn't look hard enough. The seventh and the last useful app for a software engineer, especially if you are a web developer, is Postman. Postman is a client app developed by Google, and as the name suggests, it allows you to make or post API requests. Download it, install it, configure the endpoint, and click send to hit your API. Not only can you make GET requests, but all other HTTP verbs like post, put, delete, and patch. You can also organize your API endpoints into groups and even share your configuration with others, making collaboration easier. There are other apps like Postman that allow you to make HTTP requests, but I find Postman the easiest and simplest to use. All right, Pirates, these are the apps that I believe all software engineers must have in 2022. What do you think about them? Are there any other apps that you think are important and missing from this list? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.